Hello and welcome back to Crash, uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 Part 15. And in this episode, we are resuming the Insane Trilogy as we attempt to go through Crash Crush in order to get the uh, box, the box gem that I got cheated out of because the boulder uh, jumped over one of the nitro crates. The Bastard. Bullshit! <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I like the uh, the uh, art design change uh, in this particular level. Whereas before it was it was definitely a snow level, uh, and the snow <laughs> elements were uh, <laughs> running into the electric gate. But you know the snow elements were far more pronounced in the uh, in the original version. Whereas here the uh, lighting uh, emphasizes the fact that it is you know exiting the snow that we are exiting the snowy season, mm. as opposed to you know uh, relishing in it. I think I think the only major Oh right, right. I see. I see what you mean. Is that it's, it's like what? Well, this is the same. This is the same level design that they use for the B levels. I'm pretty yes, sure. Yes, but in the B level, uh, but the B levels uh, will also end up having uh, this uh, this lighting and shadows effect over them, which will make it which will make it feel significantly more fake. If if that's uh, if that's where I want to go with it, I don't think it is, but. I mean, look at the look at the splotches of the light stream of the light streaming through, and then realize that the that the actual light source is the sun over top. The splotches <laughs> on the ground are supposed to be snow patches, I guess, but uh, but originally this level was just coated with snow, and it actually made, it actually uh, felt more cohesive. <laughs> Damn it, clouds! <laughs> past clouds, stop running in to the electric gates while I'm attempting to make stupid points. Stop making me laugh while Gerda is speaking. <laughs> um, well, I mean, as far as fidelity goes, well, if you want to take a look at the finer details and how everything is arranged physically in this level with this camera that changes only when you change position on the map, <laughs> good luck. Well, no, I'm, I'm not actually talking... Uh, I'm not talking about the... Uh, in the uh, fidelity of the graphics, because the fidelity of the graphics is actually still really nice. I mean, the bushes, the trees, the uh, ground, it all looks really nice, but at the same time, it also seems to conflict with itself, because the ground, due to the particular shade that it's going with and with the splotches, it actually looks like we're on a beach setting, uh, uh, a, or rather a beach path, whereas uh, everything else it's... is very much, you know, mm. a... Whereas everything else feels much more like, you know, a uh, a, a pine forest of some of some form of some form or coniferous forest. I I got you. So the so the color the so the co the color saturation is making it look too warm, like a beach. Yeah. All right, I mean, well, that's, we're that's in Australia, a fair so it should look that warm. But at the same point, uh, originally it did not look that warm. It was you know it, it was a winter stage. Well, you know there was there was snow all over the place. No, it's it's I'm funny. Sure the, the hmm. dirt path was still most. Go on. It's funny. It's funny we're talking about like because uh, let, let's let's say I was having a conversation very recently about very very similar to what we're talking about, which is how how are the conditions in the woods during say I don't know the month of March when there's probably still snow on the ground, but it's the first day of spring. Well, uh, flash flash fire season actually starts on March 20th to 22nd every single year, and it's because the sun is strong although it's not common and there aren't many reports of fires being started while there's still snow on the ground in March but it is possible and that would that might explain the dryness on the ground yeah that was the level where uh, where I got screwed over by the bouncing boulder jumping over one of the nitro crates during that bouncing that four, that four boulder segment there. Balls. sons of bitches there Gotta pull gems from my and there's butt. The, and there's that humorous animation of Crash literally storing the gem in his ass. You say he's got cancer in his ass. Oh, did did we already get the gem? In, I thought we did. The, the, we did not do the gem and bear. Okay, fuck it. We're going to the eel deal now. We got to get all 79 boxes. This is not this. All right. So if you miss Crash Dead, if you miss Crash Crush because the boulder fucked you over. That I must have had it confused with this level. This is this is your memory that fucked you over because when you you died, but then you forgot to go back and get the boxes that you got the last time before you died. 
Because I got the green gem, and I didn't actually care about getting the box gem here. Because the one box that you missed was in the room towards the green gem. We are vengeancing on this eel deal sewer level. Vengeancing! Vengeance! Vengeancing is very important to me. It's what makes us human, says Alexandre Dumas. Well... Yeah, oh yeah, this, this guy right here, well, okay. Okay, so yeah. Uh, that's the that's the box that I missed after I got the green gem. Okay. There you go. Right, because you did that's because you because you survive you did not survive the return trip. It's all coming back to me. <sighs> Bonus level. I like I like the uh, the the sewer the sewer uh, and plumbing aspect of this. Honestly, this looks this looks really damn good. Yeah, this PS1 was a time before they invented, like, uh, I mean, if Xbox 360 gave us grease Complex physics, shadows. if Xbox 360 gave us grease graphics, then PS4 gave us, like, actual light and effulgence graphics. Well, mostly actual light. I mean, where the fuck is light source in, in this shot, but... Well, but, uh, so from the sewer grates, because we're under the street or something. No, we're not under a street. We're in Australia. Australia doesn't have streets. What are you talking about? Australia doesn't have sewers. What are you talking about? Uh, Cloud. Every video, every video game area, uh, every video game location has sewers. That joke would have been funnier had I not screwed it up three times. I think what we all need to appreciate is that at some point during the day, everybody's just got to take a big old dang dookie. It's not because it's not because we're trying to be stinky. It's because, well, that's just how we are as people. Four. Do you really need the Wampa Fruit? <laughs> you have 60 lives. But it's fun. I want to see Crash bouncing. It is fun. But, you know, <laughs> we're doing this revisit just for 100%. We don't need to see you end up at 100 <laughs> Checkpoint! Alright, blow up the nitro. Get the thing. Uh, sadly, that, does not, uh, that still does not blow up the floating mines here, right? That is correct. The floating mines are rotating. Damn it. They're turning around. And then they go the other way, and then they turn around again. Well, those are actually mecha uh, those are actually mechanical Roombas. I'm talking about the floating mines that are gonna be in this segment up here. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, well, like that one. If the, if the nitro boxes run on nitroglycerin, what is it that feeds your evil fucking spiny BT hearts? Oh yeah, it's my dick. Clothing and the shoe and the shoes of a bandicoot. Run. Run, 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 run. We got all right, it. So now we'll be going to Barrett, right? No, I think we're all set with Barrett. I didn't Just... get the gem in Barrett. I missed. I missed the gem in in, uh, in all three of the uh, polar bear levels. I'm trying to think. Um. So. Okay, we got 27. Why am I quitting the game? This is strangeness to me. Oh, yeah, that was a not very well done jump cut for me going back into the game. Anyway, I had to do a little backtracking when I realized that I don't have the daggum fucking gem of a who's it's that comes out of this little polar bear's head if you jump on him over and over again. By the way, apparently you can only do this once per game because this does not work. Yes. Yeah, you can only do that once per game and it gives you ten lives. It's very nice. All right, now here's, here is like the fucking creme de la creme of HD remaster reboots. Oh, he actually rolls over. He rolls so over because he knows that it's riding time. <laughs> he feels slightly slower. I know he's not actually slower, but he, but it looks like he feels slower. Like he feels a bit heavier. Oh, and he squeaks instead of barks. He's so adorable. <laughs> I love this fucking. Po I love Paul. Oh no, he's actually. Uh, He's actually terrified of Crash, too. And you missed a box. <laughs> it means Crash must die. 
Okay, he barks and squeaks. <laughs> Booyah. He makes his choice of barking and squeaks. Oh no, here he comes. <laughs> we're going we're going downtown. <laughs> Yeah, the, the control is comparable, but I do observe that, um, kind of like what you were saying, that it feels like he's going slower, even though he's not. That's because his, uh, his feet aren't moving you quite as again. fast as they were in the last uh, crash through. Yeah, it's it's the feet animation, to be perfectly honest. That's why he feels slower. He probably isn't actually slower. No, I mean, no, if no, he no. is, it's probably about like maybe one, maybe two units. But it's not honestly notice. He's not noticeably slower uh, in travel speed. He's just noticeably slower in his animations, which is actually a good thing because it allows us to appreciate the complex animations that he's going through. At the same time, it can actually fuck over your sense, uh, your sense of weight that he's got. Like um, when you're supposed to actually engage in a jump, it, when you want to do a long jump, that kind of stuff. Right. The the the, fine, the finer positioning challenges, which long you know deep seated <laughs> deep seated. Behave deep-seated patterns of behavior from Crash 2 players have been known to haunt players who play the HD remake from 2018. <laughs> yeah, specifically Crash 1. Uh, and I have to say that I am seeing I am seeing their particular complaints. Again, it's not actually it's not actually significantly different, but it looks slash feels different, and that's honestly the and that's honestly the big <laughs> sticking point. If it looks and feels different, then it may as well have actually been different. Hmm. That is a creepy smile, Crash. Well, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be mitigated by the adorable polar bear on top of his head, on top of fucking um, Jack Dawson's head, Jack Crash Dawson. But the fucking game actually combined the death animations because I was supposed to go into a fucking uh, leg sticking out of the ground like I had just like somebody tried planting a bandicoot seed and failed. But then it turned into an ice cube animation. Yeah, because you because uh, you died two and a half times during uh, during that death animation. And that's why Polar Bear was not on top of Crash's head because he was actually uh, he was actually sniffing the ground where Crash had landed head first, not standing on top of his head using Ooh. him like so. Polar yeah, Bear getting these three boxes <laughs> in uh, near getting through these these three boxes in, in a bear is honestly is honestly the, the hardest part of this particular level going in, for this gem. In Barret you are gonna cry when the whale is just waiting to eat you. <laughs> short, short yeah, jumps. So are you doing a full... Short jumps. Yeah, you're supposed to be doing short jumps. Are you doing short jumps? I'm trying. <laughs> Goofy polar bears. <laughs> There's a short jump. <laughs> oh, polar doesn't bounce off boxes anymore. All right, and go god damn it! Fucking damn it! Spin fall forward into the abyss. <laughs> this is adorable, certainly, but I, again, I don't think we needed to see all these deaths. Cloud. We're, we're, damn losing, it, fast we're cloud. losing a lot of crashes. <laughs> We're taking too many losses. Okay, so maybe you won't end up at 100 lives. <laughs> you see? That's why I got all the Humper fruit. That's why. Oh, look. That's an artificial checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The, 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 they did that, didn't they? They totally, they totally did that. They put in artificial checkpoints in this game. They start, and, and by the way, that checkpoint will be there every time you play this level as long as you're using the same file. <laughs> really? Yes. It will only go away if you I'm start a I'm not sure if I file. like that. It does kind of fuck with the uh, level, though. Does... I'm not going to lie. It kind of makes it feel, like, unnatural. Yeah, because that, that's a permanent that's a permanent mark. That's a permanent, um, it's a permanent your... stain upon your record. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now I will say that uh, uh, that I will say that for me personally, I actually really like that change. However, I'm wondering if it screws over the uh, the time trial. Uh, does it actually put in uh, an additional time crate there? Well, uh, no, because the time trials automatically get rid of all the checkpoint boxes. All right. And in the next part. And in the next part, we will start World Three, right? World Three, tee hee hee. <laughs> <laughs>